Dr. Manali from If We're Family. Today I'm going to be talking about if how many meals a day you eat makes a difference in your ability to lose weight. Now the data out there is mixed and so I'm going to go over what medical studies are available. Um, some things that medical studies look at is one meal versus three meals a day and if that makes a difference in how much uh, weight you lose. And some studies say it doesn't make a difference and some studies show that eating one meal a day day it's more likely to have you um, have trouble losing weight and the reason for that is is that in those studies people eating one meal a day were more likely to eat unhealthy junk food um, they were assuming that they people thought that if I'm only eating one meal a day I can eat a lot more junk or sugar or candy or something like that and so that the actual composition of what they were eating was the reason that they were um, putting on weight because um, eating one meal a day led them to eating more junk food and the other thing to consider is that if you're only eating one meal a day and that meal is late in the day, then there's not as much time between when you eat and go to sleep. And so uh, you don't burn off as much of the food as energy and you store it as fat. So that's something else to consider is that if you're eating less meals a day, it's better to eat them earlier in the day so that your body has more time to burn them off as energy so it doesn't get stored as fat. Now other studies look at three meals a day versus five to six meals a day and they found similar things where it ends up being the composition of what you eat and so um, the data was mixed as well. And so I think it, what it ends up being is how you eat healthiest. So if you find eating five to six small meals a day makes it easier for you to stick to eating healthy. And healthy means you know not eating foods high in sugar, um, not eating foods high in unhealthy fats, then that's what you should do. But if you find it easier just having three meals a day, then that might work better for you. Now the other thing that some studies looked at is does it impair your blood glucose insulin regulation at all? And the data on this is not conclusive for me to tell you one way or the other, but this is what's available. There are a few studies showing that um, if you have one meal a day, that your insulin levels spike much higher and that could potentially impair your blood glucose insulin regulation long term. And there are a few studies that show that if you have um, six meals a day, six small meals a day, that your blood glucose insulin levels actually never come back to normal for a good part of the day and that can impair your blood glucose insulin regulation. Now the reason that's important is as your blood glucose insulin level um, re regulation becomes impaired, that can lead you long term more likely to have diabetes, but it also makes it harder for you to lose weight long term. And so there's not enough data now for me to tell you one way or the other, but that may be something that you may see in the future information about in the next few years. And the last thing is what should you do? And I think you should probably test what works for best for you because the data, um, medical studies data, is not uh, clear enough to say that you everyone should do the same thing. It seems very person to person dependent on um, what data is available so far. So you should actually find what works for you um, in that what's more likely to lead you to eat healthier and have less cravings um, for junk food and sugary food and so on. And you may have to test a few different things before you find what's best for you. But it turns out it seems to be very person to person dependent and not like a one size fits all. Everyone can do the same thing. That's all for today. For more pictures of what I'm eating, you can follow me on Instagram, Healthy with Dr. Manali. And for more videos, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Dr. Manali Decide. If you're not already on the email list, you can sign up at If We're a Family for my free guide, How to Lose Weight Without Cooking or Calorie Counting. I'll see you next time.